in your time spent covering the region, is it typical to have this sort of fits and starts? And should we take it as a dead end now or that this is all part of the negotiation, if you will? Well, it's a good point. It's certainly not strange to have fits and starts with anything involving North Korea, especially high stakes diplomacy. So obviously we'll need to see more, but I think definitely too early to write off the summit in the sense that this might be really a emotional response or rhetorical response by North Korea. And now we'll be up probably for some behind the scenes diplomacy to try to tamp down tensions and move ahead with the summit. Obviously, President Trump deeply invested in right. making this happen. Kim Jong-un on the North Korean side also has very strong incentives to have this summit go through. So I think it's too early at this point to write it off, but obviously we'll need to see more. And the South Korean Korean president has played a very prominent role in trying to bring this about as well. President Xi has been more in the background when it comes to the North Korea talks. Where do you think he fits in at this point? Well, President Xi in China has also a very, have a very strong incentive to have the summit take place. What China would like to do is avoid instability on the Korean Peninsula. They want to avoid a military conflict, a tightening of sanctions that would topple the North Korean regime, because then you have a refugee crisis spilling into China. You have the possibility of a uh, destabilizing event right on their border. So that's the goal. They've been quite constructive uh, and, and frankly have been working pretty well with the U.S. on this approach. Yeah, what exactly is China doing? Because as Joe's pointed out plenty of times, the president, President Trump that is, keeps giving him shout outs, Xi Jinping in his <laughs> tweets and saying, oh, he's doing such a fantastic job. Thank you to China's Xi Jinping for making this happen. We're not hearing what he's doing. So what is it likely that Xi Jinping and China's doing in the background here? Well, one of the really important things that China has done is go along with the U.S. to tighten sanctions. That has brought the economic pressure to bear on North Korea that's made the summit possible. And that's, uh, those are, that includes the steps that China is taking to enforce sanctions, but also allowing the U.N. to go forth with multilateral sanctions. Typically, China has been one of the stumbling blocks on tougher sanctions. China's gone along, and that's really been, I think, a game changer in terms of paving the way for this meeting.